Hey, what is up, mortals? It's Tara here, with a new video for you. In this video, we'll learn about blood demon arts from the Demon Slayer anime. I just wanted to greet you guys by saying, sit back and relax, you're in for a treat. So let's get started. Blood demon arts are special techniques or abilities that high-level demons can use, or are their personal supernatural abilities. Generally, the blood demon arts are developed after a demon devours a human. Each demon has unique blood demon arts, and some can use more than one. Due to there being a large number of blood demon arts among demons, they all have weaknesses as well. The weakness is also unique to that demon, but generally they all have the same weakness from sunlight and nature in blades. Now let's go over each demon's individual blood demon arts. Muzan Kibutsuji's blood demon art is body manipulation. He can manipulate every cell in his body and change whatever he needs, including turning his torso and chest into a mouth, changing his facial features, replicating his internal organs, making bones into weapons, and turning his skin into monstrosities. He can shapeshift, taking on the form of any person. The only one who can't be deceived by his disguise is Tanjiro Kamado, due to his sense of scent. With his cell manipulation, Muzan can make himself immune to diseases and heal any wounds he suffers from. He has the strongest and fastest nigh-absolute regeneration due to being the progenitor of all demons. He can recover from any injury, excluding sunlight and complex drugs. He is immortal, like all demons, and will never age. And his immortality may be due to his body rejuvenating his cells. Enmu is a member of the Twelve Kazuki, holding the position of lower rank one. His blood demon art is dream manipulation. With this, he is capable of entering someone's dream and can control or manipulate it. If he destroys their spiritual core, their mind will disappear, leaving an empty shell of their body. However, there is a small chance of being affected by the dreamer's influence, such as when one of Enmu's human agents was affected by Tanjiro's kindness and lost his drive to kill him. Due to this, Enmu will usually send someone into a dream for him. In order to have someone else enter the dream, Enmu uses his flesh to create a connecting rope. When tied to both a dreamer and an outsider, that outsider can enter the other person's dream. Enmu can also make people fall asleep at his will, which only serves to give him more power over the sleepers. Rui is a member of the Twelve Kizuki, holding the position of lower rank five. His blood demon art is spider physiology, giving him spider-like techniques and abilities. Using his cells, he creates threats that can be used for offense and defense. Due to being the most powerful member of his family, his threads are strong and sharp as steel. They can break a Nichiren blade, slice a human into small pieces, and keep fellow demons down. Rui's family were also spider demons, and each had unique abilities in addition to their similar spider-like techniques. His father had enhanced strength and durability, being able to lift and crush rocks or trees, along with withstanding powerful attacks. He had the ability Metamorphosis, which allowed him to transform into a more powerful form of himself by shedding his skin. This gave him increased physical power and regenerative abilities. Rui's mother focused on string manipulation, creating thread from her fingertips and being able to extend the range of her strings to cover an entire mountain. Her ability, puppetry, had her attach strings to corpses and manipulate them to fight for her, similar to a puppet master. She could use the corpses to the fullest of their physical power and could manipulate both human and demon bodies. Rui's sister focused on her thread techniques, similar to her mother. Rather than using her threads as wires, she usually formed cocoons with them. She also had the ability to generate acid that would slowly dissolve a person. Rui's brother generated poison that was deadly to his victims, and one of his venoms possessed the ability to transform humans into spider-demon hybrids. Their entire body would turn into a spider while keeping their human head. The process took about half an hour to complete, and certain antidotes could reverse the transformation. Kyogai, also known as the Drum Demon, was a member of the Twelve Kizuki and held the position of lower rank six. His body contains six Suzuki drums, embedded in different parts of himself. 
They can only be used within his mansion, but each one has a different ability. His right and left shoulders rotate the room he's standing in, left or right, respectively. His right and left legs rotate the room forward or backward, respectively. The drum in his navel creates three claw-like slash attacks, and the drum on his back teleports him or other people to other rooms in his mansion. Kyogai himself is unaffected by the rotation of the rooms and stands still despite the spinning rotations. Nakime, also known as the Biwa Demon, lived in the Infinity Castle before becoming the upper rank four of the 12 Kizuki. Her blood demon arts were connected to the Infinity Castle. By playing her Biwa, she could create countless rooms and change the shapes of them at will. By shaping the rooms, she was able to manipulate structures inside the castle, such as using pillars to crush her enemies. When she connected her hair to the castle walls, she could control the castle's positioning. But this also rendered her immobile. Two side abilities of the castle manipulation allowed her to create portals within the structure and use spiritual manipulation to teleport anyone present inside the castle. Susumaru, also known as the Tomaru Demon, aspired to join the 12 Kizuki. She used Tomaru handballs in her combat, and her blood demon art allowed her to conjure them at will. Her intense speed and power annihilated any demonic limbs that were hit by them. Yahaba, also known as the Arrow Demon, was another that aspired to join the 12 Kizuki. His blood demon art gave him two morphed eyes with arrows for irises, one on each of his palms. These enhanced eyes allowed him to guide his senses and track footprints. The eyes could conjure arrows by blinking and force the target into whatever direction the arrow was facing. Also using his arrows, he could manipulate matter and interactions. The swamp demon appeared during Tanjiro's first mission for the demon slayer corpse, the perpetrator of many kidnappings. His blood demon arts were used by manipulating his blood. His main ability was the swamp domain, where he conjured a pocket swamp dimension that allowed him to infiltrate houses and kidnap the inhabitants without being noticed. He could also split himself into three copies, which were distinguishable by the number of horns on their heads. Each could travel in their own swamp dimension and sneak up on their target. Tamayo was a doctor and close ally of Tanjiro, who was turned into a demon. As a demon, her main demon blood art was supernatural blood, where she used her own blood to cast various spells on her targets. Most of her techniques were flower-themed, and she was able to manipulate a target's mind. Sense of illusory blood, visual dream, was a hallucination that hindered the vision of her target by creating beautiful flower patterns around them. Magical aroma of daylight was similar to a truth serum, causing the target's brain function to decrease making them confess lies and secrets. This technique was very dangerous to humans. Tamayo also possessed the ability Flesh Seed, which originally belonged to a human who was transformed into the demon Asakusa by Muzan. Using the man's flesh and blood, she made seeds from him that surrounded her target before exploding and growing into gigantic flesh trees. These trees had numerous spiked branches that would pierce and restrain her target even being powerful enough to momentarily stop Muzan. Yushiro is another companion and close ally of Tanjiro, who was turned into a demon by Tamiyo. His blood demon arts were connected to his paper talismans that could be used to either hide or reveal something's presence. With his sight manipulation, he was able to hide the entrance to Tamayo's clinic. This ability also allowed him to reveal hidden attacks, and he could pass this on to Tanjiro as well. Using this ability, Yushiro could also turn invisible. As he became more skilled with his techniques, he was able to more easily hide an ally's presence. Using a blindfold, he used the skill of mind control on his enemies. This put them under hypnosis and gave him control over their body. If used on another demon, he could use their techniques through them. To do this, however, he needed to be in close proximity to the target. Nezuko is Tanjiro's younger sister who was turned into a demon by Muzan. Her blood demon art is fire manipulation, which allows her to create special demonic flames from her blood. This ability was unique due to being harmful to demons, but not affecting humans at all. She had control over whether her flames would be harmful or not, and she could also use them to heal a fellow demon. Her flames also turned the Nichiren blade from jet black to red. The manga included several demons that have yet to be shown in the anime, so we'll go over them as well. Kokushibo is a member of the 12 Kizuki, holding the highest position of upper rank 1. 
his demon blood art is sword manipulation, although the actual name of the art is unknown. By taking some of his flesh, he created a katana that he uses in battle. The sword is extremely powerful, and due to being made of his flesh, it has regenerative abilities as well. Crescent Blood Moon is an art that allows him to create numerous blades in the shape of a crescent moon that have different slashing speed, length, and size. The blades are either bright yellow or blue in color. Doma is a member of the Twelve Kizugi, holding the position of upper rank two. His blood demon art is ice manipulation, which allows him to generate and manipulate ice from his flesh and blood. He can create powdered ice that can suck the blood out of humans and cause them to slowly die. If the ice is inhaled, the target's lungs will deteriorate and eventually rob them of their ability to breathe and fight. Doma also has power over ice in general, able to shape it into many forms, along with blowing gusts of freezing wind. Akaza is a member of the Twelve Kizuki, holding the position of upper rank three. His blood demon art is shockwave manipulation, using his sheer power of striking to create shockwaves from his pressure. The shockwaves appear to be the same blue color as his tattoos, and can be used in both close and far range. Huntango is a member of the Twelve Kizuki, in the position of upper rank four. His blood demon art is emotional manifestation, where he can create younger clones of himself by recalling an emotion from his past. These clones have their own unique appearance and abilities, and are based on emotions he has felt in his life. Whatever emotion the clone is based on is the only emotion they will feel when summoned. They also have a kanji tattoo on their body, signifying what emotion they are based on. Gyoko is a member of the Twelve Kizuki, with the position of upper rank five. He uses pots in combat, and his blood demon art is connected to materializing those pots, using them for different purposes. When a target is trapped inside of a pot, he can manipulate their cells to change their DNA. By doing this, he can merge bodies together along with changing their shape. He is also able to change his own shape with this ability. Other uses for the pots include teleportation between them, summoning fish demons from inside of them, and manipulating water inside of them to drown or suffocate his victims. If he molts his skin, his appearance changes, and he becomes more powerful. He gains extremely durable scales and is even more powerful than normal. Only three people have ever seen him at this stage. Kaigaku is a former demon slayer who became a demon to save his life and eventually became a member of the Twelve Kizuki, holding the rank of upper rank six. His blood demon art is lightning manipulation, which lets him manipulate electricity and combine it with swordsmanship and increase the power of his attacks. Due to being a demon, the electricity is demonically enhanced, making it more powerful than normal lightning. Gyutaro is a member of the Twelve Kizuki who is the true holder of upper rank six. His blood demon art is blood manipulation, being able to use his blood for many purposes. He can create solidified blades from his blood to attack and also defend himself. He can generate poison in his blood that is fatal to enemies, along with manipulating his cells to infect swords that may have pierced his body. Along with that, he can manipulate his flesh and turn it into blades to attack with. Gaki is a member of the Twelve Kizuki, who holds the secondary place of upper rank six and is the sister of Gyutaro. Her blood demon arts are similar to her brother's, but she can also manipulate the cloth she wears and her hair for offensive and defensive purposes. She has the ability to create flesh obi, which are sentient flesh detachments from her body. Partnered with flesh storing, where she would kidnap and store them in her flesh sashes, the flesh obis would keep guard over her storerooms and her meat. Hiro, also known as the gun demon, is a member of the 12 Kizuki, holding the position of lower rank two. His blood demon art was shadow manipulation, which let him use his blood to create shadows that work to his advantage, either by negating physical attacks, defending him, or absorbing people and objects into them. His shadows also contained a heavy amount of artillery, including firearms, explosives, and blades. He can command them at will, but they have a limited amount of ammo, becoming useless if he runs out. There was also a demon that was exclusive to a one-shot chapter in the manga, called the Flute Demon. This demon's blood demon art allowed him to conjure a special flute that could be used for multiple purposes. One technique was nervous system disruption, which caused the target to have control over a random part of their body. For example, trying to move your head would instead cause your arm to move. This made it difficult for targets to accurately get away. 
the flute could also summon two black wolves that the demon could command to kill his targets. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in this information thus far. I hope you enjoyed it. Now there's a few more things I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, We the Celestials has got you covered. Our We the Celestials, My Hero Academia, and Naruto What If channels retell the story of their namesake anime with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Secondly, on behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We the Celestials, then I'd like to extend you an invitation to join the team. The only caveat being that we only accept members that are 16 years and up to join our crew. You can sign up for whatever category fulfills your interest by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking for new members to join us. Well, that's it from us for today's video. So thank you all for watching and have a great day.